Chicken shit. What do you? Nothing. I don't think so. I wanted to say, what's your name?
crazy. I was so happy. But okay, let's talk about the chick, Julie, who is only 14, you know, so it's a really, really early age to start something. But now it's time to prepare for the ball. So Julie and her mother are preparing for this big event. So they are trying an evening costume. Julie is going to be an angel at the ball. And this is really nice, you will see. So, now, there is one very bad thing at the Capulets. Julie's mother, who is not a very nice person, wants Julie to get married one very disgusting nobleman called Paris. Paris is another person, another character, a young man. But don't worry, Julie is not so stupid, so she is not going to listen to her mother's stupid ideas. So, we will see what's next. Juliet, do you know that Paris will be at go to? Who is Paris? Paris? Paris is the boy you will marry, you know. Ma, what do you say? I feel like you well. I'm saying that you will marry very soon. Ma, I don't want to marry me. You will marry him and that's it. It will have a good reputation for our family. I promise that the wedding will be the best ever. You are still my daughter. I, I want to make your life better and it's ours too. Mom, let me say something. I don't like him. He's not good. I don't marry that for a lot of fun. I want someone who love me forever. No, just my good girl to the family. I don't want to marry him. I was saying that you will marry Paris. And that is my last word. Ah, ah. No, no, my sweetie. That's good. Now look at the mirror and say if you like it or not. Yes, I love I love this but Thank you, mother. And thank you.
Hi, baby. Hi, I'm Harris. Hi, don't fit. Oh, sweetie. Come on. Get out of here! I am not ready for you! Don't be so reasonable. Come, tell me your name.
sorry about this, really. I just walked it and that's really good. Anyway, who's this young man? I don't know. He's not going to beat me, but uh... Hold your horses. Tell me I'm not right if I say that you are wrong the whole time. Guys, take him!
now give to each other your wedding rings. Well, you are a married couple. God bless you and helps you to live long and happy life. Now, Romeo, you may kiss your wife. Just a short kiss, please. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Now, new events go and live according to Jesus' principles. Thank you, Lawrence. Juliet. I'm so happy. <laughs> I want to have five kids with you, or maybe more. <laughs> Are you all right, my dear? Who will we look after when we go for a weekend? I don't know. <laughs> maybe Danny. I'm sure she will be okay with that. And uh, what shall we do now? Now? We can make a lot. Make a lot? But not here, please. It's my humble place. <laughs>
My dear husband, I am heading to wedding tomorrow. But as we both know, I will call the marriage. So I had to pretend to be dead. Friar Lawrence gave me a poison, which will make me sleep for several hours. And there will be no After this, came to church where I will be sleeping. I love it. Oh, I've got a message. It's from Juliet. How oh, sweet. Then, let's read it. There's a gonna be a very difficult situation now. How my plan will be successful. How I will be okay. How it's not a real person. Okay. Let's drink in Julie. The sooner the better. Juliet, 
is that she's lying for the elder. What? What, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. No, that's not true. I, I don't believe you.
These young people were deeply in love, and now they are dead. Is it fair? No. No at all. Is this what we wanted? Fine. Then go ahead. Cry. Suck at your stupid behavior. I think it's time to live in harmony. Time for love. Friendship. Love. Love is more important than anything else on the world. And I really promise to write the next play as soon as possible. And you will be 